Hey everyone, welcome to a godly home. I have a Hannaford grocery store haul here for you today. And keep in mind that <clears throat> I am doing the Misfits Market order every other week. So this is just things I needed or wanted to stock up on in addition to that. Okay, they had the kielbasa sausages on sale today and they were two for six and I grabbed two of those then they had the ballpark beef franks on sale today and I grabbed two of those Sorry guys, I lost my receipt. Um, I wanted to give you the price on those um, hot dogs. They were $3.49 a package and that was the sale price. So two of those. And then from the deli, they had $7.99 a pound on the Taste of Inspiration's Pepper Jack Cheese. So I got a pound of that. That was the sale price. And the Munster Cheese, same deal, $7.99 a pound. I got a pound of that. I believe those are close to $10 a pound when they're not on sale. And I love to have deli cheese that I can have with snack crackers um, at least you know once a day plus it's good on sandwiches for the guys lunches and things too but I do a lot of the deli cheese instead of like the brick cheese to cut up with crackers because it's easier okay then the oven ready breaded haddock from the Fresh seafood section was on sale for $5.99 a pound, so I got a pound of that. I'll cook this up for supper, and then we'll use the leftovers for haddock burgers for my husband's lunch. Now, this is the best price I've seen on bacon in a very long time. For a one-pound package, the bacon was on sale for $3.89 each. I bought 10 pounds of this. That will do me a couple of months and you can't beat that price so I'm really excited about that. And guys, watch your weight on your packages because some of these were just 12 ounce packages for the same price same brand okay and then um, <clears throat> we needed some cranberry juice and they had to substitute there isn't really very many um, flavors I guess is the best word to use of cranberry juice available right now uh, it seems to be pretty hard for me to get in my store and I had asked for um, quite a few of these I think I had put like eight of them on my grocery list and all we come up with was two of them yep I had down right there that I wanted six cranberry juice and I wanted uh, two of the um, cranberry pineapple and what I ended up with is one cranberry pineapple passion fruit 
and one cranberry light, which we're really not that crazy about um, the light. But that's it. I asked for eight. I got two. That's all they had. Um, I'm really going to need to be on the lookout for some cranberry juice. As you guys know, I keep a decent stockpile, but my husband has to drink that every day for health reasons. And I got to get some on hand because we went through quite a bit when we were sick without going to the store. Okay. Hanford brand dressing, California French style. It's like Catalina. My son loves this, the Ken Steakhouse Honey Mustard. He uses that on a lot of stuff. Then they had the black olives on sale for 99 cents a can today. So I grabbed two of those just to put into food storage. Okay, canned milk. I like this in my coffee. I like this in food storage. I got two, four, six of those. And then I got some of these black beans. And where did I put my substitution paper? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm disorganized. I can't breathe after being to the grocery store. So I'm still not feeling like the best, you know. And I'm making a disaster of this, but I still wanted to be able to show it to you. So, um, let's see. Here it is. Um, I asked for mozzarella cheese. They did not have any mozzarella cheese. Um, they also substituted my chips whenever we get to those okay so i got quite a few cans of these beans um love these for tacos and the black bean burgers and that all is for food storage and then in this bag we've got Four more cans of the black beans and then two big bottles of the rubbing alcohol. I like to make a cleaner out of this. And we used most of our homemade cleaners while we were sick. We're down to the bottom of each bottle. Okay, um, we got a big package of wraps here. Those will be good for my son's lunches. Uh, French fried onions. I have a recipe that I do with these that I need to do for you guys very soon. Then just a loaf of the giant Hannaford white bread. My husband likes that. And then, whoops, a loaf of the nature's own honey wheat. My son and I like grainier breads uh, white breads do not agree with me they do they make me have the crawls and he just prefers the grainier breads and i'm trying to get my ginger ale stash back up um, so we got two liter bottles of the hannaford brand ginger ale and these are very expensive they're under a dollar each and then, um, let's see, I got four bottles, four bottles of the ginger ale, guys. And then 18 pounds of large brown eggs. I got two of those. Let me give you the price on those. That'll be interesting for you. Um... My receipt is like, it didn't print out very well, so it's hard for me to read. Uh, 
Okay, those were $2.92 for each 18 count package. The carnation canned milk was $1.89 each. That's getting higher and higher all the time. Like it's going up significantly on that canned milk from grocery trip to grocery trip. Okay, and then I got some of the challenge butter. This is a little cheaper than just a box of the real butter that I normally get, and we love this spreadable butter. Then we got a package of Kraft Deli Deluxe cheese, a thing of the Cabot butter sticks. the family size Mexican cheese, the large Cabot cottage cheese, two of the hood sour cream, and a jar of Cheese Whiz. My son loves Cheese Whiz sandwiches. I'll do one of those in his lunch just about every day as one of his sandwiches. Okay, and then we got a package of bugles. I love bugles. I've been on a bugle skip lately. And we got a package of Lay's Wavy Party Size Chips. I do not like Lay's Chips at all, but they did not have what I normally get, the Hannaford or the Humpty Dumpty, so they substituted with the Lay's, and I'm going to have to deal with it. And then for my husband, the um, Cape Cod Dark Russet Potato Chips, and a package of tall kitchen bags. Now, here's a frugal tip for you guys. I save all of the bags that my wood pellets come in, and I use those for regular trash bags. They fit into my garbage can, and then I just staple them shut after, and that saves us a ton of money on garbage bags. But I keep a package of the store-bought garbage bags on hand for like returnable bottles for the redemption center because I don't want to have pellet dust all through those. Um, if I needed to take something someplace and put on the back of the pickup and keep it dry, just stuff like that, stuff that you need a clean bag for. And a lot of times those will get reused. So like if I go to the redemption center, they'll say, do you want your bags back? And I'll say yes. And then they'll give them back to me and then I can use those ones for bottles again. So, um, that's the way I do that, and that saves quite a bit. All right, I'm sorry this was disorganized, and I'm not really totally myself here, but I hope you liked this haul. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, let me know if it's helpful to you, if you're a Hannaford shopper, to see kind of what the best sales are and what to be stocking up on, you know, like that bacon. I haven't seen that low price in so long that I just wanted to get as much as I could until maybe we might see a good price on bacon again. All right, guys, I cannot catch my breath, so I'm going to cut this video short right here. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, and don't forget to hit the like button. Bye! Okay guys, I wanted to end the video by telling you that my grocery total was $206.97. That included 50 pounds of rock salt for the slippery steps, which was 14, roughly $14. And I saved $3.75 with the digital online coupons through Hannaford that I used. 
And um, so I was pretty happy with that. I mean, that was a lot of bacon. <laughs> 10 pounds of bacon. So this is going to stock us up pretty good for a while with what we already have here. And I just thought you might want to know the total. Okay, bye.